Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, our high today is supposed to be 90 degrees. I got the fence open here already, so this is what it looks like. It's uh, it's functional. It'll work. Um, plants are doing great already. They're really growing good so far. So uh, I still need to replant all these, and I will do that soon, uh, probably in the next day or two. But um, I'm going to stick these other spikes in, like I told you the other day, on both ends. <clears throat> and then this way, the cantaloupes are really starting to grow up nice, as you can see. So I'm going to have that so that they can climb up a fencing. And that's why I opened up this area. I'll put those right on the ground so they can climb right up. So first of all, um, I wanted to wish everybody a happy Father's Day. And, uh, you know, I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, I worked last night, so... I came home and slept for three hours and got up because <laughs> I wanted to do something today. Okay, I had a um, couple things I want to explain to you guys, okay? So let me show you something first over here. So I don't know if you can see, like right over here, I get a ton of shade on the house, okay? Um, even on a hot day, the inside is comfortable. So... And like here is the water container, obviously. That's completely in the shade. Right now we're completely in the shade. So if I go this way, you can see a good part of that is shaded. As the sun travels in the afternoon because of these trees up here, let's see if you can see these trees here, I'm in the shade a lot. So, and plus we have great insulation in the house. So the house is definitely more comfortable even on a really, really hot day. Um, I just wanted the air conditioning just to take the edge off. I won't be running the air conditioning 24-7. I mean, if I run the air conditioning, honestly, a couple hours a day, I would be surprised. Um, just because I really don't need to. Um, if I'm outside and I'm working and I'm getting really hot, then I go inside, then I'm hot. But if I'm just sitting in the house and I'm not doing anything, it's actually very comfortable. I have no issue sleeping um, during the day, nothing. Because um, like I said, it's really comfortable and for the most part, I mean more than three-quarters of the house a lot of the time is in the shade So um, it works out really really well. I mean, I, I can't complain at all on that um, I wanted to Go over something uh, with the solar system. I had a request So I kind of wanted to go over um, How I have this set up because somebody was asking me and I I don't ever give out names. I just you know who you are um because I just, you know, it's a privacy thing for me. I, I, you know, I don't put people's names out there. But um, they were wondering how, um, like, you know, when the solar came in from the panels into the battery room, how I ran it to the house. Okay, so let me go in here real quick. And I'll go over how this works. Let me just turn this light on. Okay. Um... So the power is coming in from the solar panels, okay? It's coming in with two wires. You got the one wire here and the one wire here, okay? So your positive wire is coming into this panel box. Your negative wire is coming into the Midnight Solar Classic, okay? So once th that comes in, I got these nice big old heavy gauge wires for both the positive and the negative here. Um, and again, this recommendation, I'm going to keep giving shout outs because I believe, you know, in giving props where props are due. Bill from Bill and Rose Off Grid really showed me a lot, talked me through a lot, um, really helped me get this set up the proper way. And so a huge shout out goes to him because, you know, you know, you have to learn from people that know what they're doing. Okay. So anyway, um, so then after everything comes into the system, into the batteries, it all comes through here, then it goes into the inverter. From the inverter, okay, it takes that DC power. I run everything on AC, okay, just so you guys know, I don't run anything on DC, everything is on AC. So the battery, the battery, or power comes in DC into the batteries, comes up, gets converted with the inverter to AC power, and then this wire here, if you see here, is coming from the inverter, that goes out back out okay and that wire comes out of the building here it just runs into here i have this pipe here 
that it runs up underneath, okay? And then that wire, let me show you this inside here. That comes into this panel box, okay? Now, with this panel box, the way that I have this set up, right now we have the generator is off, the solar power is on, okay? So if I wanted to run on the generator, what I would do is I'll flip this, this breaker here over, turn my solar off, push this bar over, and that's just more of a fail safe than anything else. Then I'll turn on my generator, okay? But I won't turn the generator, I'll start my generator first, okay? And then I turn on the breaker after the generator's already running. It's just uh, so it doesn't put so much draw on the generator when it starts up. Um, so I can either run my entire house either on the generator or on the solar. Now, um, as I've told you guys, since we've updated the system and even before we corrected the mistakes that I had made, we have been running strictly on solar, okay? Um, probably, I think it's almost two weeks now, if not more. All right, so that's how it works. So that wire from the inverter comes into this panel box, okay? This is the house system wired up, okay? It's got like the bedroom, north bedroom, it's got the kitchen, the girls' room, actually it's Heather's room, obviously. Um, the boys' room, which is Eddie's upstairs, you know. So it's got all the different sections of where the, for the breakers of where everything is. Um, I had an electrician come in and do this work so that it was done right. So I didn't want to have any issues with fire or anything else, okay? So that's, that's how my system is wired up. And, of course, this system here is grounded right out here okay so that box right there is grounded here it's completely separate from the solar system inside the uh, the building which I have right there with the grounding rod and that's the wire going inside so everything from the battery room is grounded to here then for everything in the house is grounded. Look at that old flag flying away there. Beautiful. South Africa, Great Britain. So it's actually a nice breezy day. Um, so everything, and then, so like I said, that's all grounded here. So um, I hope this kind of explains it a little bit better. Um, let me actually go back in and I'll tell you what we're running today. I gotta do some kind of reset because what's happening is my system is resetting itself at noon every day so I don't know what that's all about but um, I'll, I'll just read these numbers here right now I have 761 watts coming in 28.1 amps um, 85.9 volts you know and uh, so I'm pulling in on a sunny day about four and a half kilowatt hours now okay um, before I was pulling in maybe 2.1 kilowatt hours. Um, since I changed everything over, it's been way better, more efficient. And so, um, but like I said, it's, you know, we're not dying out here in the heat. I mean, it, it gets hot, don't get me wrong. And like I said, if it's hot, I have my shirt off, as you guys know. Um, if anybody's watched me two years, if it's hot, my shirt is off. But, um, you know, so that's kind of explains my system a little bit better. I hope that helps uh, so you guys can understand how I do it, how everything is wired. Um, when we first moved up here, okay, if you want to go back and look at those videos, I had said in the very beginning, the ultimate goal was to run strictly on solar, okay? That's the ultimate goal. Now, I need to add more panels to do that year round. Right now, summertime, peak hours, I'm running all the time just strictly on the solar, okay? My total draw of power every day we don't use a lot of power every day. We really don't. Um, you would think that we would, but everything in the house, all the lights are LED lights, okay? Um, so, you know, and then, you know, we, we're on the laptops. I, you know, I have the refrigerator and the camper. Um, and uh, so, and actually, once I pull that fridge, I'm going to pull that fridge out and put it in the house is what I'm going to do out of the camper. And then I'm going to disconnect the um, 
camper and just have that as a backup if we have company over then i can plug the camper in and use the you use the power there right now it's like dead dead area i'm using power in there that i don't need to use but right now it's not really affecting anything because i got plenty of power okay um you know my ultimate goal when i first got up here what i said was um over the first winter i knew that i would use the generator a lot and we used the generator a lot this last winter okay we had a mild winter so we were very very lucky in that aspect but the ultimate goal was to eventually be strictly on solar i'm working towards that goal that's what i'm trying to do because it just uh it takes time i mean you got to figure out what works for you what's your it comes down to want and need what are your wants and needs as far as power goes so um obviously i want to run all the time and so that's what we're doing now which has been absolutely awesome um, the system is working fantastic the batteries are freaking great um, I've had no issues with that and uh, you know and obviously it's summer tomorrow is uh, the 20th I think the 21st is a winter solstice and uh, or su winter listen to me summer solstice so then we start losing daylight but uh, you know so then it's the first day of summer too I think is the 21st but anyway um, you know it's all coming together it just takes time and here's the thing guys and I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again if you're gonna do this do it right the first time you know um, I've learned from people that knew what they were doing you know people that live off-grid that's the, I'm telling you that's the advice that you need to get because you know if you're living off-grid power needs or whatever and like I said it comes down to want and need what do you want and what do you need you know what I mean and for me um, the kids needs come really you know they wanted more power and I understand that for me I probably could have lived on 750 watts to be honest with you but uh, you know because I I'm not on the laptop that much I upload videos I may watch it watch a few videos here and there but you know between working and everything else I just don't really have the time and then I'm trying to do things around here on top of it but uh, anyway videos getting long and I'm rambling away I apologize Again, I want to wish everybody a happy Father's Day. Um, being a biological father doesn't always make you a father. Um, it's the man that stands up and takes care of those kids. That's what makes you a father. And uh, I, gave, I want to give a big shout out to my stepfather, Larry Loomis. Um, he was instrumental, or instrumental, I should say, I'm sorry, word came out wrong, in uh, making me who I am. My mother married him when I was 16 and I was seriously a messed up kid. And um, he had a lot of patience, where a lot of other men wouldn't. And uh, I look at him as a father figure. He's a, he's a good man. He's still alive. Um, he's 80 years old now. He'll be 80 in September. And uh, he, it's, he's a good guy. Um, you know, my biological father was not around, the, not in the picture. Um, and I had always said I wanted to be the kind of father that my, my real father never was and i've tried to do that um it's to me it's real important i mean family is everything you know it really truly is we live in a day of me 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 society instant gratification if things aren't going the way you want you quit um i don't believe in quitting i really don't i mean uh, i have frustrating days i have periods where i'm down but you know what it's when i kick myself in the butt and with the encouragement of friends helping me kick me in the butt to get up and do what i need to do so anyway i'm rambling I'm going to get off of here. Happy Father's Day. And remember, whatever you're trying to achieve, one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. And you're going to reach those goals, guys. You really, truly are. And the only person in life that's going to hold you back is you. Don't blame nobody else. Don't have excuses. Look in the mirror. That's the only person holding you back from achieving. Even, you know, even if you set small, realistic goals, reach them. And then you reach those goals and you set new ones. You'll get there. All right, listen, I'm out of here. Have a great day. Prepper nurse went out for now.